project that you will see here is focusing on a project, on a material, and going in depth in doing research with it. And from those material, they try to find specific qualities and develop them into an experiment and hopefully in a product as well. In my method of working, I never start with designing a product, but I always start with a research and an experiment and an investigation. And most of the times, if you start an investigation to a material such as wood, stone or metal, you can find a lot of hidden qualities inside the material. And as soon as you start to experiment with those, there's new possibilities arising. So I'm a very strong believer in process-driven design. It's quite nice to see that there's a difference between culture from how we work in the Netherlands and how students are working here. We are much more focused on the materials physically working sort of hands-on and I think in here it's a bit more conceptual and theoretical so I think it's a perfect combination of joining those two worlds together. Some uh, people are working on oxidizing metals, some are doing research on color, others are working with mixing colors in transparency. And one last project is about the pH values of food. So it's really about going into the materials and see what they can do with it. All started working physically right away. Maybe a bit of sketching in the beginning or a bit of computer research, but really the hands-on approach. So hopefully the outcome of most projects are a research, experiments, and a proposal for a design, because it's impossible to do a whole design project in four days, but that it's sort of inspiring for the future as well. I really have a strong belief in only seeing the computer as a tool, but physically work hands-on because intelligent hands can do more than the brain. So sometimes you can't imagine things on forehand, but while doing, while reflecting, there's a lot of new possibilities coming out of these experiments.